How's everybody doing? <laughs> I don't know why, but recently I've been seeing a lot of trends using super high-end makeup like Tom Ford, Charlotte Tilbury, like really nice makeup and obviously I love that makeup. But there is a lot of drugstore makeup that I think is really good as well. And I thought that I would do a full makeup look. And the only thing that I don't have is mascara. I always use L'Oreal Paradise mascara. Uh, I don't know why I don't have one right now, but let's just get started. You know, let's not make this like a super long video. Let's just make it happen. I've already done my skincare. Take a fluffy brush, dip that into the... Fit me powder and dust that all over my face. I know that using a primer helps, but if you don't have it, it's not the end of the world. You know what I mean? Like you can make do. So I'm gonna take the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. This was the Alyssa Ashley collaboration with NYX. And this is in the shade Neutral Buff. I just took one solid pump. Taking that foundation, I'm just going to start spreading that all around my face with a, a light layer. My skin's been being pretty nice to me lately. It's because I've been washing it at night, drinking a lot of water, you know. I know NYX isn't like the cheapest of the drugstore brands, but I think that they're still really affordable. And as you can see, that's just like a nice light layer of it. Next, I'm going to take, this is my favorite contour stick. This is the Fit Me Maybelline stick in coconut by my forehead kind of like right where my cheekbone is and then I blend it out like almost like as like a bronzer as a cream contour you know all that good stuff just all around my face maybe a little bit under the nose I just love shades like this and I love formulas like this to just blend out so easy obviously I'm not using this Fenty bronzer for the drugstore makeup tutorial but I really like these bronzers they're so warm and pretty but I just love when people look healthy you know like you don't look like you've been sitting like inside all like month. It's like when people look like they enjoy their life, you know, like they're outside, you know, playing with their dog, playing with other people's dogs. I literally used to be that person that would go to the dog park without a dog. Like I was that person. Now that the contour and the bronze, you know, the bronzy goodness is all up on my face, I'm going to take the infallible concealer in the shade two under my eyes. And do you know what's crazy is like, I genuinely feel this smells like paint you know, like chemicals, kind of concerning, but I just really like the finish that it gives me. It reminds me of the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay, and so I use it anyway. I'm definitely one of those people that doesn't like products that smell really strong, and so I kind of had to get over this one, but if you don't like that chemically smell, I wouldn't use this. I would use that Adri Wine Concealer or something like that to avoid, you know, getting triggered from smells. I just go down my nose, my forehead, just bring in that brightness, cancel the under eye darkness. My inner corners kind of get pretty dark, so I always make sure to put a lot of concealer right there, under my nose, mm-hmm. And then I just take my Morphe sponge again and blend that out, hitting the sides of my nose. I really take my time blending it out. Yes, mm-hmm. The skin is looking great, people. And then now dusting um, some of that Fit me fair powder on my face. Just want a light dusting. I have the butter bronzer by Physicians Formula, and I really like it. It's like buttery, you know what I mean? And so I just go kind of where my cheekbone is and lightly layer it on. Just go all around the edges and really just bronze up the face. Okay, and then my like top five blushes of all time is the Luminoso blush by Milani. It definitely like had its moment a few years ago on YouTube, but I've never stopped loving it. I've never stopped loving you. So just tapping that and then going over my cheeks and then kind of going over the nose a little bit. Yes, kind of on the forehead. Just go crazy. I'm already looking so glowy, but do you know what we're gonna do next? I look like I was kissed by, by the sun. Like the sun came down and it was like, Okay, that was a lot. So I'm gonna go into highlight. Oh, we had a we had a fatality earlier. My Glossier cloud paint exploded all over my highlight. It was very sad, you know, it was very sad, but it was my fault. So who's who am I gonna be mad at other than myself? It really looks like I'm wearing highlight. Like this is kind of a lot, but the things we do, you know? Just adding a little bit more glow. I'm going to put that a little bit over my eyebrow. Hit the top of my cheekbone. Yeah, this is a lot. We're doing a lot right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's all about those subtle layers, you know? And I love this um, Maybelline Master Chrome highlight in Molten Gold. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit on my lip as well, my Cupid's Bow. 
and the chin. Who is gonna tell me not to? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Oh God, my lips look crazy. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? So next, I'm going to take the Keep It Spicy Lip Pencil by LA Girl. And this, this, lip, this lip pencil was like everything I didn't know that I needed. Really versatile. It kind of reminds me of like Whirl by Mac. Like if Whirl and Spice were to have a baby, like this would be it. And just, that's the lip liner on its own. I kind of filled it in a little bit, but not completely. And in honor of Luminoso, I'm going to use the Luminoso Lip Gloss by Milani. And look how big this applicator is. Like, can we talk about that for a second? Yeah. Like, I just love some liner with a gloss. Like, that is me. So, I also, I also love the Revlon lip glosses, as we all know. Unless you don't, unless you're new, then hi. So now we're gonna work on the eyebrows, brushing these puppies up. I like using the soft brown color by NYX, but I can't find that one, so I'm gonna use the taupe color. Just filling in all the gaps, you know, doing the damn thing. All I know is that I wanna use this eyeshadow palette. I've used it a few times. It's the Wet n Wild, um, not a basic peach palette. I bought it when it was new, so that's why it says new right there, but I've had it for a while. I don't know how long things are considered new, but I kind of want to like go all in. Then yet I kind of don't because I don't want to like anything up. You can stop right here, put some mascara on and call it a day, but I want to show you, you can look glam. You know, you can make yourself be looking bomb with some drugstore. But I'm going to take that bronzer that we used earlier and put that on my crease. Kind of bring it to the top of my brow where my brow starts right there. Kind of do the side of my nose. Again, right where my brow is. Circle it all around. Next, I'm gonna take that orange shade right here. It's like an orange, you know, like a solid orange. Tap away the excess and just build that on the outer corner of my eye. No fallout. Inner corner as well. Kind of bringing it up to where I did that whole like bronzer moment. And this is with a Morphe M505 brush. I'm going to take the more peachy shade right here and put that a little bit like above this orange just to make sure that it's all nice and blended. I'm gonna put that creamy shade right here on my brow bone. Just make sure that it's not forgotten. Okay, and now I'm gonna cut, like do like a half cut crease on my crease and I'm gonna use the infallible full wear L'Oreal Paris concealer and I do take my time cutting the crease so please hold while I do this and I'm gonna take this like bronzy peachy color gold right here and put that where I cut the crease I just realized I never zoomed you in for any of this I am so sorry Next thing I'm going to do is deepen it up a little bit by taking this darker brown right here. Not the chocolate yet, but just this brown right here. Deepen the outer corner a little bit more. Okay, that looks really nice. And next I wanted to take some of this L'Oreal Chromatic Bronze like loose pigment. Like let's just see like what I can do with it. I don't really know what's gonna happen, but we'll just see, you know, like we're just going crazy here, people, we're going crazy. Fix plus to my brush, just see what the f is up. So we're gonna do the inner corner. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm loving this color. I'm just gonna layer it on top of that gold. The gold was a little bit a lot for me. It was a little bit like July. I'm trying to be May. You know, I'm trying to be May right now. Give me some chrome pigment, yes. So next I'm gonna put some mascara on. For lashes, I'm gonna do these pre-cut lashes by Ardell, the pre-cut wispies. I don't know if these are new, but they're new to me and I thought that I would give them a give them a go. Take in each individual piece, four, three, two, and then you know, place them on. We'll see if I like this, you know, it might be a little bit difficult, but we're gonna try it out. And then taking a Morphe E18 brush, peachy shade right here, and kind of smoke out my lower lash line. The combination of the orange and the peach. I really like these tones all together. And then I'm gonna take some of the Maybelline Brow Drama in Soft Brown and just go over my brows just in case any powder may have gotten in my brows. 
put some mascara on my lower lash line lower lashes oh yeah you know i always wonder like what if eli musk created a cosmetics line everybody would buy it so that is my final look it's very glowy very springtime like let's just talk about it you don't need to break the bank to get your makeup looking cute this is a makeup look that i would wear like out the drugstore makeup you know embrace it give a big smile the best makeup you can wear is a smile so i hope that you guys all have a great day if there's anything that you'd like to see please let me know in the comments below and yeah so it's always a pleasure it is always a pleasure yes it is it is always a pleasure Goodbye. Yeah.